very fun whenever we were there. And I want to go to hang out with Josh and Alexa and Colton and all of the other LA people. Because it was so funny. <laughs> we got really um, drunk and we um, partook in um, something that is legal there that is not legal anywhere else. Yes. Um, and I started talking to Colton about going to West Hollywood and going to um, all of these fantastic gay bars with him. And it's, I've never wanted to do anything more in my life because he is just, he's, oh, I love him. Man. Yeah. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. There's a lot of good folks out there. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just, apparently, some people can't hear you guys, Tim and Jennifer, on the stream. What is their problem? <clears throat> We're talking in cat language. All right, let's hear now. <laughs> Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a dance, 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 dance. I'm sitting on my freaking tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't sit on your tail, buddy. Oh, it's a little tail. <laughs> my tail got out of <laughs> uh, If I would have fallen, I would have landed on my hands. Or excuse me. On your feet. My paws. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know what's happening. Go ahead. <laughs> Bowen's like, you guys are fucking annoying. I hate you. Anyways, no, go, no, go no. ahead, fans, and, and, and go ahead and give us tips, because, you know, we're hot now. What? <laughs> staring at the chat. What? Should we, do, should we just, like, go? since it's so late, should, should we, we just, like, it? barrel yeah. into this? Let's, Let's go. Right. Let's Head first. Just... We're only doing a half episode tonight, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're doing four. We, no, we just intro ourselves, and that's it. I mean, technically, we're doing four half episodes. <laughs> yeah, if you that's think about true. it. That's true. Oh, I need, four, it to four, four, I need the player's handbook. Oh, no, I think it best for my guests. Are we going to need those tonight, Michael? Our character sheets? Yeah. Uh, Why would you not have oh, a character no. sheet? Even for fake episodes. No. Hell yeah. I have, I have my character sheet. I meant the PHB. I'll be. Your, yeah, I, I, I'll I just, be you're not gonna like level up mid episode. <laughs> I need to okay. figure out how long it's gonna take me to doff my my cloak, Michael. What? I just I just liked it for reference for myself. Oh, and I was gonna. But look your up. stuff in there doesn't even. Huh? Hey. My spells. Ah, so you need to get a spell book. I do need a spell book. Whoa! It went back to. What's wrong? Weird. Guys, my goggles are bad. <laughs> they are broken, but they look um, great. They're very bad. No, they look terrible. No. No, you look great. But, you know, but for being <laughs> made out of foam board, they're okay. No, I, you look great. I wish you guys could see how janky You're ass. Yelling. I'm sorry. I wish you guys could see how janky my dress is. You could like kind of see like a bit in that I've got paint like everywhere because <laughs> mm -hmm. it only took about mm, 17 coats of paint to make the yellow come through <laughs> on the teal. Which is my bad. Uh, I can't do a costume unless it's like two days before I need it. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Didn't play it. And the paint soaked through under the back of the dress a little bit because there were so many layers of paint. That's okay. As long as it looks good from the front, that's all that matters. Hello, Columbian815. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Jennifer's Mount Lady. That would be a good costume. I would like to be a Mount Lady. Who's Mount Lady? Mount Lady is the, the big the tall girl oh my, and yeah. my hero. The, so good. She's big. No, she that's big. Uh, Midnight. That's well, Midnight. She have big boobs. Nika, the fact that you have Midnight as your avatar is like <laughs> the best fucking thing on the planet. I, I saw it. Like, I'm like, that's literally Nika. I can't me. believe this. <laughs> I loved it so much. Midnight's and then I, I realized, because Tim's always like, I hate it whenever you can't see. I think it was Tim who said that you hated it whenever you couldn't see either the person's face or know their name. That also might have been Michael. Kidding me? That sounds like a the commercial. One, and so I was waiting outside. for an unfollow from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think that all the characters are bad. Um, 
I will trap you in a cage and sell you to the circus. <laughs> no, not again. Don't make but me go. Because you scared me. <laughs> it's like when Mr. Peanut Butter hears the phone. Hello? <laughs> he gets so excited. I wish I put a rubit in some, inside my ear flaps. I just like that my oh, ears match gotten... my hair right now. It's, it's like weird one. Oh, yeah. What's the Mountain Lady's actual name? Uh, I, think, I think, I don't know if they ever actually they just, say her name. Yeah. I think they just say Mount Lady. Mount Lady. I thought she was big woman. Big, le- big ass <laughs> big woman. <laughs> Vormy mommy, that's her name. She's big. <laughs> and, she, and sometimes she gets bigger. It's, yeah. Who's the So technically she, she does have name? the biggest boobies on the show. Mm-hmm. Mount Lady. That is there true. Is- there's a there is a picture in one of the mangas that I wish I could find because it is so terrible. Um, apparently, her name is Yu Takayama. That's what oh. Boko no Hero Academia uh, Wiki tells me. I'm not gonna find it. Not with these <laughs> goggles on. <laughs> I posted a picture before streaming on Instagram. And um, Finn Wolfhard official fans started following me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. You got to get that Finn Wolfhard. He's so For good. the what one, a, what one a cutie time. Baby. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think it's like fan art, but it's basically there's, I forget what character it is, but they're basically about to be crushed by one of her giant boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen and... the art from My Hero where they like swapped outfits mm. or like in quirks? With the different characters, oh, yeah. yes. that shit was so. good. <laughs> Cause it was like Momo and Bakugo swapped, and that was that was very good to me. <laughs> and Tokiyami and um, uh, oh my god, uh, why my brain broke? Half fire, half ice. My favorite. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tsukushima. With the the blue eye and the red face my, on it. My, yeah. my brain can't remember his name. I can't Carl. remember. So cool. I don't. I'm not good with names. His first name Shoto. I remember that. Shoto Saitama. No. <laughs> Todoroki. Todoroki. Todoroki, yes. Todoroki yes. Senpai. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, I are... saw with Finn Wolfhard uh, Twitch streaming for a second, and I watched it for like two seconds, like, I'm good. I mean, he's a teen. He can't. Help I don't want. Yeah, exactly. I. I don't. I'm not judging well, listen, him. I'm giving you room to be a teen. Right. I just man. need him to be a teen. How old is he? Like fourteen. Time. Yeah, like fourteen. And yeah, he cussed constantly in it. He did cuss hilarious. In it. <laughs> um. I. Yeah. We still have a few episodes to watch of the season of Stranger Things, but I'm very much enjoying it so far. I watched one episode. <gasps> what? Oh, it's very good. The problem is, is that. Also, uh, fucking Pandemic Legacy 2 came out. What? We still never finished the first one. Yeah. yeah. Our friends so moved a bunch of farther that. away from us, and everyone, all of our friends have houses, and I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> you should just play with your wife, if you ask me. Yeah. Because then that they're there, usually. I'm very stupid. <laughs> I need help. We have still not started Pandemic Legacy, because I just keep having so much fun with regular Pandemic. <laughs> pandemic is a good game. It's a good game. It's so Legacy fun. I love it. Much, much better, but yeah. Well, but yeah, but Pandemic is still is like a good game. It's a good no. co-op. No, whenever there's something game. that's better than something else, Damn it's it. bad now. Right. I get that, bro. You know, bro, I get that, bro. Something that's bad, like Wario. Not and good. And something that's better, like wah, Waluigi. Wah, wah. <laughs> is Bachman dead? Uh, or is him coming? That's Military. not Bachman. Wow, or someone. Luigi. This face paint hurt me so much. Yeah, because you should have just kept with your cute kitty cat nose and, and whiskers. But you can see the slight what definition of my orange and my white. Why did it hurt you? I don't know, man. I think you've got sensitive skins. Yeah, I'm a babe. Are you allergic to it? I don't know. Your your bangs look weird right now, Michael. You look <laughs> like it... a fucking musketeer. <laughs> is... <laughs> Why don't you friggin'... <laughs> is, it, uh, <laughs> is it like, is it related to your um, nipple thing? You look Probably. like D'Artagnan now. You do look like D'Artagnan. <laughs> Michael, you look like um, Shia LaBeouf when he's like magic, the gif. You know what I'm saying? He goes, yeah. magic. Yeah, these are all good things. Magic. Magic. But no mustache. I also thought you were being Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I am. <laughs> um, 
are you guys going to be dressing up for Halloween at work tomorrow? I think uh, so. Uh oh. Oh, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't know if you were talking to everyone. I, yeah, I, it's probably a question for all of us. I will not be. I don't. I don't think I will do. But I might dress in like all black just to be, just cause. I probably won't leave the house. <laughs> well, that's right. I'm um, probably not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. You get to watch too much video games. That's makes like... fun of the people who dress up in other departments and so no dresses. Mm. Oh. Oh. I don't that's think anyone. Rude. I hate your boss. A couple of years ago, one of my coworkers dressed up like Jean from White Hot American Summer, and it was the same year that Tim was also dressing as Jean, and I was like, <laughs> ah. And he was at one percent dressed up at work all day. That's hilarious. You should <laughs> you should really go in good. late tomorrow party. And, just to do it. What no? We're having a Halloween party. We had a Halloween party last week. But it's like for the, like, like people bring their children. Oh ours is like during lunch. Oh. Oh <laughs> uh, but yet you can't dress you have a Halloween house. party but you can't dress up? God. Um so I did pick I did pumpkin rick. <laughs> yeah, I saw awesome. that. And then, and then somebody, um, my my one coworker who was seeing Rick and Morty, was like, you know, you should do, you should get a gourd, and 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 do Morty, and then it would be Rick and Gordy. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's good, clever. right? It that is. person should be on this podcast. He's smart. He's pretty funny. What do you think Bachman is? I, I know, like. I know. I, we play fast and loose with his in? rules after he had his kid. But... I'm assuming the baby needed us something. A kiss. Um, I like that Hugo is. I, I I think what you would call sorting us into My Hero Academia characters. It it, I, it pleases me. And it's perfect. Yeah. And it's a hundred percent true yeah. that Tim is present. Mike. Is that the <laughs> that, one that screams? That's the one that screams. <laughs> yeah. And then Mike is. Goodbye, Matt's bad mass me. media. <laughs> uh, I'm really tired tonight. Uh, so. Either who knows what we're gonna get into. Like it's Wario. Sorry, I just saw that. Yeah. <laughs> um. I hold him in my hand. That's why he's not there because I shrunk him down. Oh, I, no. I did a curse upon him. You should put him in your orifice like Mount Lady would do. If we could start Mike Bachman's audacity from here, then we could just get that. Would be. I would say we should. <laughs> yeah, we just do it. But oh, yeah. okay, for sure. <laughs> I'm poking up. It's a little, but no, for the Waluigi there. Oh yes, <laughs> the Waluigi. <laughs> no, no, you got, you got to lean him. There we go. The the, pa yeah. the patron saints of our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Wario. All right. Well, Waluigi. I'm gonna go try to pee with this thing on. So I might need <laughs> good help. luck, buddy. I, I you should cut a hole right in the dick. As soon for as it. Tim yes, leaves, that's exactly that's exactly what's gonna happen. But at least Jennifer, you could scream at Tim and I or just hit at Tim. <laughs> um, Boston had really crazy ass storms last night, so Ooh. yeah, it was nuts. Like there were trees down all over the place this morning. Uh, the wind was real bad. It's been weird here too. I don't care for it. I feel like it's I been very windy. Sound. Now that I have to go outside because I have a dog. This winter is going to be even worse. So bad. It's going to be even worse. Yeah. I have to, I'm going to have to buy equipment. I'm going to have to buy like a jacket, a coat. I'm going to buy a coat, maybe Little gloves. Booties? I'm going to have to buy big. Wait booties. for the dog or? No, fuck the dog. The dog's <laughs> fine. What about me? You need, need one like, of those pooper uh, scooper things. You don't have to touch it. I I, I need like that's snow the best pants. On a winter day. <laughs> it's it snows like four feet here every day. I'm gonna be. I, I need like a snowmobile to walk yeah. this dog. Yeah. That's what I, mean. I have to zip. <laughs> you guys are so close to seeing his little booty on the screen. Ew. It's a huge booty. Gross. His little. What was it? The guy made me assume so you're watching was my little wet butt. <laughs> what but <laughs> Tim and I like have run out of, of half hour shows to watch and we we're like, uh, let's watch the comedy big big TV show, which is very, very weird. Um I I have not listened to the podcast ever, but I tried to watch the show. I, and I, I think I got through ten minutes and I was like, ah. Eh. No, I don't I honestly like I can barely watch the show and I love the podcast. Um I actually like the show. It's real no, I like like I very like dumb. it. It's very weird. Um it's Super weird. If you, Nika, if you want to know like recommendations for episodes, I can definitely give you recommendations for specific episodes. Mostly, like there's certain comedians that if they. Oh, are, hey, Carrie, how are you? It's a baby. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello, oh, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. She's so tired. What 
Sleepy. Oh my god. She looks girl. so little. She's a baby. Do you see her? Oh Aww. boy. Oh. <laughs> she, she's just no. a little thing. She's so teeny. Her <laughs> how, how much are very she, cute. They are very cute. How much does she weigh now? Um, She was five pounds last oh, Monday. That's good. So like five and a half maybe? Yeah, because wasn't she like three something nice. when she was born? Yeah, she was 311. Yeah. Damn. I would give anything to be girl. five pounds again. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Look at this Hi. little family! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh. oh. the gamer Zena. chair and Yeti mic, <laughs> Sony PlayStation sign, just like everyone wants. Hey, what was that? <laughs> What's up, bud? Hey, what up, buddy? She's so cute, Amelia. Did you see her? Did you see that baby? Yeah, I saw her. I see her all day. Yeah. <laughs> Is she always making uh, grunting sounds? Is she poopy? Constantly, all night. <laughs> um, she loved to grunt. I think this is an objectively bad thing that I'm doing in my life, but I think I'm going to go my entire life without changing a diaper. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. Same. Wow. I mean, if I never change one again, I'm cool. I, I have changed a diaper. Mika, do you have brothers and sisters? I forget. I have um, a half sister who's 18 years older than me, so I have not ever changed her diaper. <laughs> That's probably good. <laughs> I wow, hope you shit. continue Some... to not. I might be a grandpa someday, and then that's gonna fuck. <laughs> yeah, you shit. gotta. Shit. No, what you know what? Done. I was here all weekend, and he didn't do shit. <laughs> he didn't do Man. shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, due to gender roles, I don't really ever have to um, uh, change true. baby. If I'm around a baby well, and I have to change a diaper, you have to change a diaper. No, we're all gonna change Amelia's diaper. Yeah, I have to lick her. I like to think that I've changed Amelia emotionally mm -hmm. um, in her heart. Just as she's her, changed you, her little so tiny true. heart. Uh, let's take this audacity up before <laughs> we all fall asleep. Yeah, who's got audacity open? I, I do. Nika, you've got a little on your. Go. Nika, you he got, got a little, little something. Arby sauce. Little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, it's your, just lipstick. <laughs> your nosebleed is really when ruining I did your it, Tegan I used and Sarah cons uh, cosplay. And... <laughs> it was gross. I'm Tegan after a very hardcore concert. Yeah. Oh, when she sees okay. a hot lady and she anime oh, noses. She's horny. It's, it's yeah. Nose. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm so horny. Okay. On go. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I didn't just... know that Tegan and Sarah was a lesbian band, and then I went to one of their concerts. I'm like, everyone's so nice. Why am I the only boy here? But we should have been recording for that. Three, two, one, go. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording. Doing this it. is Halloween. 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 <laughs> Happy <laughs> five year anniversary. Oh, it is our five year anniversary. <gasps> Wait, no, everyone is. except for Nika. Um, uh, by the uh, I'm sorry. To be fair, though. Michael asked me if I wanted to be uh, guest starring on an episode on Halloween four years ago. Did I really? Yeah. What a, yes. Yes. What a, what was, a day. What a day. I was Man. in a bar in Chicago and I was so excited and I screamed and there was a Freddie Mercury there. It was actually a tiki bar too. Nice. That's crazy. So it was like it was meant to be. And that was I remember that because I was angry he didn't consult me. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now, we curious. did... We did start on Halloween, and this is the day before Halloween. But the good news is, because we're starting so late, there's a very good chance oh, still be good. we'll bridge right over past oh my midnight. God. Did we record on Halloween, or did we release on Halloween? I forget which. We recorded on Halloween. That's crazy. How would wow. you get us to do that? I don't... I, we didn't have anything going on. I'm fucking boring. I'm cool guy. I'm the number one cool guy. Guys, the, the I'm weird number thing one. about being a dad now is that my, like... Is that you know I have that like that climb where it's like uh, the level that I need to go to bed is rising, mm -hmm. and then as it gets closer to a next feeding, eh, it kind of falls off again. Yeah, it's like well, I might as well just stay away <laughs> yeah. until the next one. I just keep it going. I love it, buddy. <sighs> okay, I'm Toby. Are you ready? I'm a Toby. I'm a baby. <laughs> Guys, Toby's not a forty-year-old gnome. He's a baby. Oh no. He's an eight-year-old boy. He's a human eight-year-old boy. Oh, I'm gonna sweat if I leave this on. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just throw my costume. It won't take more than ten seconds. Okay. I'm really excited, I'm excited. to see I got, what... I'm gonna click his his screen. We gotta, yeah, we gotta. I hope he brings the baby back. I hope it's uh, that monkey suit. Is, is he doing a bit? Is Bachman doing a bit? I don't know. He's what just if, is for he's, he's, 20 he's, minutes. He's, 
Yes. 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 Marked mature. Welcome to Horny Halloween featuring the <laughs> podcast. Hachi Machi. Tim's a furry. But uh, 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 Michael's a hot teacher. Bogman is just a, a hot, a hot bikini mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a hot bitch. This yes. is what my hair used to be like. All yeah. the time. Luxurious. <laughs> Oh, we've seen the pictures, Michael. Uh, so we just start. Falcon's gone. I, I, I don't know we what's should probably. I think he's into, yeah. into the dead zone. Yeah, we need to put down ground rules of like, listen, you can do whatever you want, but we might we might have to start, and then you can just jump in, and it's fine, and everyone's gonna love it. Because we don't. I don't want him to be stressed out while looking at the baby. Is what I'm thinking of. Do you All think right, what time? Did you have to do it this? Is... It is 9.42. Fuck. Yeah. We've made a mistake. <laughs> um, and I barely golly. slept last night, so. Okay, let's get weird. Don't get tired, get weird. I believe in us. Don't get tired, just get weird. This is Halloween. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what about... um? Werewolf Barbit's the spooky, spooky scary. Boys becoming men. Men becoming wolves. My dad texted me. Let's start what about the accent. monster mash? They like to suck. <laughs> <and fuck. laughs> the Cody Big Big Monster what? Mash is the worst thing on the planet, and they do it every Halloween. And it's this a, is a graveyard. Fuck. It's a really inappropriate uh, monster mash. My dad just sent me a bluegrass version of the Game of Thrones song. Okay. Thank you, Dad. They Thanks. suck and they fuck. <laughs> you guys ever heard it? It's nice. very funny. It's really I'm gonna bring it up. What's it called? Really is this called the Monster Mash? The, the Monster Fuck, I think is what it's Or the Monster Mash Part 3? <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the Monster Mash Part 3. Part 3. No, I think it's Part 2. Initially. Welcome back. He's... Sorry, she was, baby was choking. Oh, oh God. No. Oh. Amelia. <laughs> it's cool. Sideways, She's good now. I, so I just want to put, so did you go to help your baby with the bikini on? <laughs> no, I, I, went, I stopped and changed first. <laughs> All right. Is this gonna well, get his band off Twitch? Oh no! Uh, uh, probably. Let's hear it. This no, is the no, original oh, Monster Mash. Leo Carpazzi well, are, you here on Comedy Death. Oh, the beasts all fucked you as the orgy spread. Looks like you're Bigfoot gave cowboy. the headless horseman head. I mean, Swamp yeah. Thing jerked off in the <laughs> castle moat while Dracula <laughs> gagged from the song. jizz in his throat. The fucking was wet. Okay, there was Spooge like mad. Igor decided right, to fuck his started. own dad. Sorry, the mummy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Greetings, adventurers. You have joined us for another episode of the Drunks and Dragons podcast. I am your dungeon master, Michael Demaro, and with me is Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Jennifer Cheek. Hey, everybody. Mike Bachman. I had to turn my camera down because with the overlay on the Twitch stream, it did look like I was topless. <laughs> it's, it's almost Halloween. Yeah. Well, and Nika Howard. Hi, guys. It's -a me. Everyone hey. go around in a circle and say what your costume is right now. I'm a tiger. I'm Princess Carolyn from Bojack Horseman. I'm Punk Eleven from Stranger Things. I'm Eraserhead from My Hero Academia. I'm your dad, and I have something to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Bachman, for those of you who do not have the blessing of watching on our, the Twitch.tv slash Geekly Inc., Bachman is wearing a bikini top and a cowboy hat, and it's really good. <laughs> there is a full belly dancer outfit. Like I've got a headdress, but it would not fit me. <laughs> this it, this only fits me because we've added a piece. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this right. is like really your legit costume. I mean, sure. I definitely didn't forget that it was Halloween <laughs> and have to throw something together. Super. I mean, do you do you like it? Do you want me to change? No, no I love it. Never change. Oh, okay. I, I'm a little pissed off that it's so good, and you're overstepping. I have face paint on. 
<laughs> Tip thought he was gonna have the best costume. Yeah, I'm a tiger. Fact, yeah, you it. can't tell really. I'm pe- yeah, this is normally what I look yeah, like. Tim normally looks like a kitty cat. Yes. Anyway. It's how Tim knows if he can fit through a doorway. Yeah. Does <laughs> <laughs> like, this touch my paint? And Nika's always horny and punk, so it it's works true. out. I'm always, yeah. I'm always a sad cat. And um, <laughs> and that's an anime reference. Anyways, what's everyone drinking? Because we're, we're tired tonight, so I think it'd be fun to lean into the drunks portion. And I am sorry that I got drunk last time. I, everyone hates... <laughs> When one of us gets drunk. Oh, they hate it so much. Yeah. It's the they really? Uh-huh. No. Uh, I'm drinking <laughs> Bully Boy uh, pre-made old-fashioned juice, which is very good. Hmm. Try it out if you're in the Northeast. That. Um, I'm I... drinking red wine, but I might be stealing Tim's drink. <laughs> and we're all I'm drinking tequila. Nice. Nice. Mike, are you drinking yeah, anything? Yeah, I'm drinking a, an IPA from a local brewery, Obed and Isaacs. Oh, yeah. You, you yes. like beer? Hmm. Yeah. Huh. I'm drinking a Devil's Share single malt whiskey straight out of the bottle. You still oh, have that? Wow. wow. You must not have an alcohol problem. <laughs> um, we're always looking for fun uh, booze recommendations to drink. So, you know, tell us what you drink when you game with your buds. Um, what's your gamer fuel? What's your gamer fuel? Your gamer brew. <laughs> your gamer cum. <laughs> did I show you that shirt? Yes, you did. Yeah. Anyway. Gamer cum implies something that comes out of you, not... <laughs> yeah, no, you drink it. You drink someone else's gamer Well, I mean, you could, cum. but... Mm. You don't have to be a gamer yeah. to enjoy gamer work. <laughs> um, Michael, oh, that's I not true. <laughs> we found the trademark. <laughs> Slap that word? on the bottle. Um, I wish we were you recording. Don't have to be a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, uh, if you don't drink, that's totally fine. Oftentimes, when we hashtag game, we don't drink, and I yeah, support you. I'll that's probably true. try not to drink in November. Yeah. I'll, Why? Wow, the whole month. Uh, I'll, I'll drink Bailey's and I'll drink during Bailey's Thanksgiving. <laughs> And a couple other times for stuff we're doing. Oh, and uh, Pax Unplugged. But... He'll drink Bailey's in his coffee every morning. <laughs> every, every single um, fucking morning. But I'll have cups, that, <laughs> I'll 12 cups drink. of coffee a day. <laughs> and, you so know, if whatever. You, now, if you can't tell we're a 5th um, edition actual play uh, Dungeons & Dragons podcast. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And we've brought you here today to play Dungeons & Dragons. Mm-hmm. So why don't we all roll a d20? I'd love to. Um, you know what? Spooky dungeons and dragons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not roll d20 because I did the thing two times in a row, so I don't feel like that's I have to do it this time. Ooh, that's true. Somebody that's tweeted true. at me this morning to remind me, and I thank you for that because I would like to um, advocate I'll, that responsibility. Also, today is when we're recording this is October 30th, and which means that tomorrow and possibly by the time we finish recording tonight <laughs> is our five year anniversary. <laughs> Mm. We I, can, I, well, I literally can't believe it. It's well, really, raise your glass. really nuts, actually. Cheers to all of you for uh, five years. And here's you. to two more. D- what? Can't believe we can still like each other. <laughs> yeah, I, yes, that's yeah. right, folks. We have always had an expiration date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, coming quickly. Yeah, we haven't always liked each other uh, for great <laughs> swaths of this. And it's really hard. <laughs> But um, no, I think I'm okay with everyone now. There was a, a rough patch. What, like a was it two months ago? But I think we got. Oh, we didn't get over it. We just stopped oh, no. talking We're about just it. So mad. Oh, um, well, no, I I like actually was about to get like a little weepy. Not not like weepy, but a little teary eyed. Like I just love you guys so much. And then you had your gamer come, and you got and then right I got over. I got my gamer it. come, yeah. and now I'm ready to game. <laughs> <laughs> that snapped you right out of it. Yeah. Uh, if this is your first episode of this ep- of this podcast, I can't believe you made it this far. Yeah. Uh, you probably shouldn't listen to this episode. We suggest uh, two episodes ish back. Whatever one is after the mailbag. Yeah. No- yes, is that right? The one where we yeah. find a vampire. Um, yeah. Or episode one. Or episode one fifty six. I think. Or one fifty four. Or one fifty three. It's somewhere oh, in there's there. One. Mm-hmm. It's also there's after one the mailbag. In- 80 something too yeah 80 is a good one too 31 yeah that one makes less sense to me <laughs> i think yes isn't that i think 31 is a specific one it is a specific one but it's yeah. two things happen then okay but i think that one's i mean yeah it's a but there's no it doesn't make as much sense to jump on to that because right. yeah you can just but do then you want maybe. 79 and tweet at me that they're mad <laughs> yeah well it's not like um they're gonna save 29 hours if they start at 30. I guess that, that is exactly what it's like. I got a 10. I got a 12. Um, I got oh, a man. 7. Nika Howard. 
What um, happened last week on the Drunks and Dragons podcast? Last week, we <sighs> met Rowan. Wait, we only did one episode last week. Liar. No, we did two. <laughs> we just didn't we do a lot. The one <laughs> came out today. The new one came uh, out today. Okay. <laughs> we met Rowan after we got in the airship and totally tricked out our truck. You flew in the airship for a long time and Yes, you... and then we dropped off Aludra and that was two weeks ago. That was a week ago. So this episode we got down, we met Rowan, and zombies are coming through the town while we yeah. are looking for Scene of the Red, <laughs> the Lich. Yes. Yes, yes. You're going to find Scene of the Red. Um <laughs> you got there and you saw hey, Michael, Rowan. Are you yeah. looking at Bachman? <laughs> He's so silly, especially on the stream when he's in that little tiny thing. It's perfect for him. I'm sorry, I can't pay attention, and I'm gonna do this every 32 minutes. Um, what did you? Was it was last time the okay. one where you were working on your boat the whole time? No, that was the episode before that. The, before last that. episode was Toby's secret was um um uh, whatever your name's secret is Jayla's. Uh, <laughs> It was out. a training montage. Was it a was um, a heart to heart about a ghost. It was, um, and then meeting oh, yeah. Rowan at the very end. So, in the episode before that was tricking the truck <laughs> and things of that nature. Which is a real show. But that's not what you're thinking of because you was... we watched one episode. Why would you? Why would any Tim, adult? I've, I've been keeping a big secret is that I fucking <laughs> love treat my truck <laughs> and I watch it religiously. Um, anyway. You don't know her. I do know her. Likes. I love tricking trucks. <laughs> that is true. She does love the <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. yeah, we got to the, the, the town. I don't forget mm -hmm. what town this is. Um, it's, I don't think you know yet. Yeah. Uh, the walls broke as a billion friggin' skeletons. The walls, so the walls didn't break. Um, Denton was on top of the walls. Our, our everyone's favorite NPC, Denton. Denton, was on top um, of the walls. second favorite. Is, uh, Boris is the number one favorite. Oh, Boris is the number one. Boris is good though. Is the thing. So he was on In top of the walls, vampire. yelling, mm -hmm. yelling at people and saying, "Load that thing and prepare that other thing." Um, and then thousands of zombies like smashed against the walls, and that's where we start. That's where we ended. Cool. So the walls are not broken. The walls they're, they're have being, held. They're just being smashed upon. For now. For now. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, um. Uh, so I think what we do is I'm gonna have you guys roll initiative. What? Nice. what? Against zombies? They got no initiative. Oh gosh. Yeah, um, yeah, they got yeah, one yeah. move. It's called shuffle. <laughs> Uh, Michael, 18 for Toby Treacle Tart. Wow, that's that's I a need, high roll. I need a D12. A D12. A D12. Is it better to get a higher or lower number? Uh, that's a great question. That is a good question, and I don't have an answer for it. Because I, I got a five total. Ooh. Um, that's bad. Do you have your uh, gross monster horse with you? Your bug I have my horse baby. Thing. You're what? Also, you mean also, Jerry? So, no, I'm a Jerry. No, I brought the, I brought the baby with. You didn't bring Jerry? Uh, maybe, probably brought Jerry. Sure, I, feel I brought like Jerry. Jerry's always with us. Listen, if if Princess Ivy Blue Moon can always be there, then yeah, Jerry's always there. All right, well, Jerry, roll initiative for Jerry for fuck's sake. Okay, why not? For what? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, eight. Um, I got a twelve. <gasps> I too got a twelve. I want to say, oh no! I bet you have a higher. Who has a higher dex? Oh yeah, I have you're a higher modifier. You're not a loot. Uh, my anymore. dex is a plus four. Mine, oh, damn, <laughs> mine's just a plus one. My dex. I'm okay. so dexterous, but please you're do not ask dexterous. me to lift anything. I cannot. <laughs> Girl, I'll lift what you can lift. Tim's looking at my character um, sheet like he thinks I did something wrong. Steve, Steve. What is your dex modifier? Because I just rolled for Denton and he got a five as well. Uh, two. All right. All right. Okay. Um, so here's what's happening. <laughs> we are in a sort of skill challenge 
but also kind of fight potentially depending on how the skill challenge goes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so what you got, what you're looking at right now is just a fucking horde of zombies and they are, tr they want into this town and, uh, and there's and we don't some skeletons that. and you don't, I mean, look, you can do whatever you want. Choo -choo. You can just get right back on that ship and fly away. Um, but uh, but oh, Denton like, is peace thing. out. I'm going with you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you did imply that you're going to steal uh, the ship from us immediately, and I didn't like that. I didn't know. That's not what I said. Uh, so there's a bunch of so there are all these zombies outside, zombies and skeletons. Um, there's a bunch of these villagers that are manning the walls <laughs> with different improvised weapons. Um, Denton is up there as well, um, and. Uh, What's happening right now is you're looking at the main gate and it does not look like it's going to hold for very long. Okay. It is, it is, it looks like it's, it will break any moment, um, which would be bad. You also see one of the townsfolk has just lost their shit. They're freaking out uh, on top on top of the, um, on, on top of the uh, wall and they're like banging into other people and like people are like, teetering, almost falling over. Michael, and... that's not going to be good for the defense of the city, though. I well, yes, I agree with you. And um, and also in the distance, you can see slowly making its way towards you what appears to be a giant skeleton. <gasps> he's it's big. Like, he's slowly lumbering towards you, and if he gets to the gate, you. You can just imagine that it's, it's not going to no hold good. for very yeah. long. Oh, this, so this is a tower defense. Oh. Is essentially that. <laughs> how much oh, gold does it cost to build like an archer tower? Uh, how much gold do you have? Uh, enough to found a kingdom. That's a <laughs> callback. Five year callback. Five year. Nice. Uh, Toby <laughs> is going to dodge an arrow and he's going to kiss the shaft. Do you guys, do you guys have any other episode one callbacks you want to hit up? That's I about all of it. Um, I remember. Found a Kingdom is like episode 12, but whatever. Get it right. Get it right. I'm rounding up. <laughs> See, this episode or episode one? Yes. Okay, bye. So it is Toby's turn. What Yay! Is Toby? Whoa, Toby's running around, pulling down his hat. Like, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, um, I know, I know. Uh, undead things. Actually, can I, as a free action, consult my memory uh, of... Um, uh, uh, what do zombies hate? Sure. And I'll roll something for that. Um, yeah. My unmodified is a five. Do you want me to add history, arcana, um, religion? Um, you could do religion. You could do straight intelligence. Okay. Uh, so I just got a ten. Um, you know that zombies... Are hot. It's true. <laughs> they are <clears throat> hot. Um, I don't think they actually. You would think that they didn't like fire, but not so much. Is that true? Yeah. Wait. Uh, wait. You. So they do like fire. You're fine with. They them? don't like fire. But they're not like. Um, they're not like they're not weak to it. Weak to it. They won't. They won't go fire back. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so Toby goes. Well, hmm. It's, it's... I will also tell you that. Um, I mean, that's they're very common. So you yeah. would know that um, they don't die so easy. Although radiant damage will is better. Yeah, for I, that. I didn't get that for shit. Purposes. Uh, Toby's like, well, I don't remember quite what fire does to them, but I know it's not great. I, I whatever, who cares? Uh, and Toby casts flaming sphere. He's gonna uh, run up to. Uh, and try to see where the the horde of zombies is and he's going to cast yep. flaming spear a little bit into the mass of them um are you going to go up the walls then uh yeah whatever wherever i can see i'm going to do that if that's if that's okay. fine with you mm -hmm. yeah you can go on top of the wall <clears throat> okay so i do that um and basically flaming spheres your your standard it occupies a five foot cube and then every space around it if a creature starts its turn there it takes a damage Okay. Um, yeah, any creature that 
ends its turn within five feet of the sphere. Must make a dex saving throw. Or else it takes so, damage. Okay, so there is essentially just a roiling mass of zombies yeah. um, outside of the gates. Are you going to, like, are you putting it in any place particular? I mean, the, so the main So basically, gate... I'm putting it as close to the main gate as possible, but knowing okay. that the main gate probably has a bit of a wood to it. So I don't mm. want to light that on fire. So it's just behind it. And, I, and, and, you know, I don't necessarily want to catch the front line zombos on fire. So let's just say, for funsies, 10 feet behind the gate. So I peer down, and um, I'm there! Um, can you give me an arcana roll? For you, so you're gonna, you're gonna, a lot of zombies are gonna die and yes. skeletons. Yes, but no matter what, but we're gonna see depending if depending this... on how well I've studied my call. Uh, seventeen arcana, please. Okay, so you you lay this puppy down and uh, and it effectively stymies the horde breaking through the gate. So. So uh, and as they as they charge for the gate, they're just getting like incinerated and they're dying horrifically. That's that's great, man. And I'm super glad that you let me do that. Um, <laughs> it, it's been a tough five years for me, uh, podcasting yeah. since. But I think uh -huh. that this next five years is gonna be good. I agree. Yeah, yeah. And, I, uh, it's and then great. Toby's gonna use his last f um, four f uh, inches of movement. He's gonna hunker down behind one of the crenellations. He goes, oh, guys, okay. there's so many of them, guys. It's terrible. Why did I come up here? Um, super. Rowan, it's your turn. So how far away would you say the big Skellington zombie guy is? You have a feeling that in about... In probably, like, in the next round or two, he will be at the gates. <gasps> He'll be at the gates. So, yeah. uh, I probably should check this right now but what would you what's like the longbow range what's the range i've never done a ranged it's like thing. depending it's on it's pretty crazy long it's yeah pretty fucking it's long. like either awesome. 60 or 120 or like 120 and yeah. a billion i remember it being pretty let me hold this real quick because basically your magic bow is a normal bow with a little bit of bullshit tied onto it so it's fucked up. isn't that all magic items oh yeah much. a lot of them yeah Whenever I see the distance, uh, what the fuck? Uh, the distance of bows, I'm like, this is, yeah. this can't be right. Is it in this? Yeah, I guess it is. The best part of Dungeons and Dragons, looking up the fucking shit. It is a uh, longbow, 156. That is fucking far. Mm -hmm. Christ. That was farther than I thought. 1d8 piercing, but you have a magic longbow. That's right. Um, and I, I, well, I'm about to do some other shit. I don't yeah. really want to activate that thing. I'm not trying to whisper horrid nothings into my longbow's ear just right. yet. Um, <laughs> so what I would like to do That's so far. is so I... It's, the 600 is with um, disadvantage, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Did you take a feat that lets you ignore... I, I, think I think I thought about it. Okay. Wait, I, I, actually, I, I think have. I think this thing is probably actually probably just about 150 feet, or yeah. he's he's within that range. And DMs at home, you hear that? Michael's like, you know what? It doesn't matter if it's 152 feet. Let's let's keep cracking. Um, actually, I did take a feat that attacking at long range doesn't impose disadvantage on your ranged weapon. Okay, so attack. what a good DM now would do, like, oh, shit. It's 155 I... feet yep. away. <laughs> Perfect, yep. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> your feet is not useless. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> um, We're an so, educational podcast. So, yeah, so I would like to activate my lightning arrow. Um, so, yeah, so basically uh, the next time you make a ranged weapon attack, which is about a second from now, um, during the spell's duration, the weapon's ammunition, or the weapon itself, uh, transforms into a bolt of lightning. Make the attack roll as normal. Target takes 48 lightning damage on a hit, or half as much. And then it does some shit to the people around it. And then I'm gonna do some other shit, too. This is very That was a bonus action, y'all. That was a bonus action. Rangers. Yeah, man. What does crazy. it look like when you activate the lightning arrow? So, I pull, <laughs> I pull an arrow from the bat and knock it, and it's just like... <laughs> like powered up like super let's say it like glows like a blue lightning situation Ooh. yeah you like, like rub a... it on your head and all the electric <laughs> yeah exactly like <laughs> on her butt 
Um, yeah. So hold on one second. Sorry. This is the first I'm time still, Jennifer's yeah. used her character technically. Yes. Um, we played a little fast and loose during the, the vampire time. Obviously. Okay. No, actually I'm not. I'm okay. So yeah, I'm going to do this. So I will roll and guess what? I have a plus four against this motherfucker because undead are my favorite enemies. What? <laughs> Jennifer, what's happening, man? I, I hope <laughs> that I'm about to fuck it up, but we'll find out. What? <laughs> How does she do it? 25? That blasts it right <laughs> in the stinking forehead. Take that! <laughs> no. Um, cool. I need some D8. Oh, well, good luck with that. Oh, this bag's too full of dice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there's too many. Oh, I got honey sandwiches? on my legs. <laughs> what? It was bad? Uh, so that's t 10 lightning damage. Nice. Nice. I um, like it. And then... Each creature within 10 feet of the target has to make a deck saving throw. Nice. Okay, so there's just a horde of, of skeletons and zombies that are all just popping all around. Yeah. Just, get, just getting zapped. And I gotta do 2d8 lightning damage upon them. Ooh, that was much better. That's 11. Okay. Damage you, you you slay multiple skeletons. So they so so what happens what happens is my lightning bolt it hits him right in the head and the like crackling lightning like goes out in a circle and it's like zzz, like a like a real bug zapper situation. Oh, oh right, gosh. like do like a real one, not the fake ones. Not yeah. the fake. No, this is like the real deal. <laughs> the are ones that not only zap the bug that touches it, but like the dog on the ground. It's fucked up, and <laughs> the smell that's coming off of this is not good, and we can smell it. Yeah, like between the the zombie barbecue and it's kind of like the smell of like you know when you turn your radiator on for the first time in the winter it's that like burning dust smell yeah that's Terrible what it smells smell. like with like a bit of like rottenness Ugh. yeah Yuck. Gross. okay i that is i'm done now. wow cool arrow rowan does it does it just do it does it doesn't like slow it down or no, anything like that right uh okay no. um okay it Definitely doesn't like it <laughs> at all. Not a fan. It it's writes a bad here. review. Mm -hmm. Put it on its Tumblr. Yep. Um, Jayla. <laughs> you said this is 155 feet away? <laughs> yes, it's exactly <laughs> I am on record saying 155 feet. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's not helpful. Um, it's a little far away. If we were honest, I'd prefer melee range. Um, oh, okay. But... Um, I guess. Remember, there's there's also like people freaking out and and st or there's a dude freaking out as well. But but he's just a peasant, right? Well, you need that's him. true. Um, uh, let's be crazy. Yes. I'm let's going go to activate my boots and then I'm going to dimension door right next to him, but be flying up next to his head behind him. So shit. he can't see Whoa. me. Shit. Holy shit. You have Dimension Door? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch. Damn. Uh, Damn. What's the range on that? 500 feet. Wow. Damn. That's, That's really far. All right. You're right behind this dude's fucking head. This big skeleton's head. Seems like a waste. You should have went all 500 feet and then be like, well. I know. Don't leave anything on the table. <laughs> and then work my way back. I have it twice. So I could have dimension doored 500 feet away mm -hmm. and then dimension doored 350 feet right behind him. <laughs> just, to, just to fuck him up. <laughs> just to do it. Wait, if I give you haste, can you go 1,000? Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. Um, and yeah, that will be because I only have two attacks whenever I hit, I think. I attack twice whenever I or I can just attack again who knows no I think that's my turn oh okay so you're just behind him Got yeah it. and I will have my halberd ready for the next turn. okay um it is actually his turn <gasps> and um but he doesn't notice you and he just 
saunters towards the uh, the gate. Michael, does he do that crazy cool thing that big big b- bad dudes do, where they crush their buddies beneath their? Feet? Oh yeah, he just steps yes. right on them. Yes. He just like it's just like oh my god, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, and you, you wonder if, like, the, the small guys even went to the battle rehearsal? Uh-huh. They don't know shit about <laughs> battling. It's yeah. It's really embarrassing. One of the, the zombies goes, oh, Craig. <laughs> My wife is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a baby named Lena. 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 Well, that's a name. Yeah. Uh, so... You all, so now you notice that, um, so there's the, the giant skeleton walking right. towards you. Oh no. Uh, there's the stymied guys at the gate. Uh, there's the guy freaking out on top of the wall. <gasps> and now, um, it, a little bit to the right of the wall, um, there appear, a breach is beginning to form. Oh, Michael. Like they're, they're breaking through this makeshift wall. No. I'm telling you. <laughs> Michael, please. Michael, I thought you were on our side. I'm not. My I'm job not. is to try to beat you. Yeah, that's true. And again, as I said, you're not I'm powerful to enough. You're too weak. I'm just really so bad at it. <laughs> Every single encounter we've ever had has been to, to kill us. And I'm just like, oh, I can't do it. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> um, Jerry. Um, so if I, if, if like... If I were to set up a trigger, am I able to set up like somebody entering entering melee range as a trigger, or is that like front upon? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Jerry is just going to leap towards the uh, towards the beef skeleton, um, his full ninety feet. Dope. Okay, so you're going to be in just like, well, I guess the skeleton is probably since he did move forward. Let's say he is about ninety feet away. We're just making, we're playing fast and loose fast with and loose. distances Wait, here. 90 feet away from Jerry? From, from the, no, from the wall. Oh, okay. And then, um, so how far would he be away from Jerry then? He, he'll be, I mean, Jerry can jump from the wall to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then I don't need to worry about that trigger. I can just sticky leg this fucker. <laughs> I miss the sticky leg so much. <laughs> okay, so yeah. so do your sticky legs. I did. It's fourteen. To okay. Sticky leg. <laughs> and this is uh, his like grasp move, right? Yeah. Um, you have not completely stopped him, but you have impeded him. Nice. That's what I was setting out to do. Perfect. So he has slowed down. He, his, he's got an escape DC of 12. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Steve. Um, Steve. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I, just, I kind of fucked myself. So Steve has a baby in his arms. Um, yeah. Did he really bring the baby down? Yeah, of course he brought the baby. Oh, All right, he it's said in his, it. like his kangaroo pouch or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot I made I forgot I had a kangaroo pouch. That's actually good to know. Um perfect. Okay. So I don't have to worry too much about that because kangaroo pouches it's reinforced a fair amount. And you know, babies they bounce back. Um Null babies do specifically. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Null no babies. Especially so. That's in the um, um, the Volo's Guide to Monsters for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna throw the uh, throw my uh, el- baby. El- 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 <laughs> yeah, my baby. I'm gonna strap in el- strap in alchemical fire. fire to my baby. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not. You can't. You're you're a parent now. You can't joke about that. So yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this isn't a human baby, so it's fine. <laughs> um, Whoa. So yeah, I throw the uh, I throw the alchem- alchemical fire into the uh, group of uh, um, the group of advancing zombies. Anywhere, so there's like literally like a sea of zombies. So... Right, and I throw it into it. Okay, just general. Just you know, like well, I mean, you're not like focusing on any of the particular problems that are have arisen. <laughs> or Michael, I'm not like focusing that. on my particular problems, so neither is Steve. <laughs> Well, you know, um, I find the closest problem, <laughs> and I throw my fire at it. All right, I'll, I'll, let me run through again. So, giant yeah, skeleton, the, giant yeah. skeleton zombie walking towards you. Right. He's a big target. Everyone likes him. He's getting a lot of attention. <laughs> um, 
Not Guys, do the other things first. The breach in the wall. <laughs> like that, that's, that one dude is bad. More, there, he's getting more and more recognition. <laughs> there's a uh, the main gate. It was was is being stymied right now by Toby's fire sphere thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So there's a townsfolk. There's a townsfolk on top of the wall, panicking and almost knocking people off of it. Um, and then a breach has just started to form in part of the wall to the right of the gate. Is that wall made of stone? No, it is made. It's a makeshift wall, oh. so it's made of like whatever crap they could find. So there's some stone in there, but so it's, also... most, it's probably pretty flammable. It's probably it's flammable. made of dung. Yeah, it was for sure. <laughs> it is a hundred percent flammable. Uh, a dead ox. There's a dead ox, for sure. Wait, the dead ox needs to be dealt with. Is that probably a, soon probably he's getting reanimated i can so see it right the, now are the zombies like pushing the wall and that's why it's it's breaking? yeah they're like they found like a weak spot and they're like breaking through the okay. actual wall you know like think of like it's game of thrones season six oh, been and there. been there and they're at that that icy village and oh then... so these are shitty fast zombies that i hate mm. worse well, i'm just kidding mike i'm just i'm just dogging mm. on you you said it's a, a villager on the wall yeah so a commoner? Could be. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm going to make make look, you know, Steve's going to just make, you know, make it look like he's uh, he's got like he's got to lift like a heavy log up or something. Do you I've got to. He's, he's, <laughs> he's adjusting his brassiere. <laughs> now you know what it's like, man. Michael's fine. Or Bachman's finally a feminist. He's like, no. I don't get it. Now that I got these two. My eyes are definitely up here. I can't Maybe stop. Can... <laughs> uh, Steve is going to make it look as if he's got a um, a log, you know, that he's got, there's a log there and he's going to try and act like he's struggling with lifting it so that that can be the insurmountable foe that he's facing alone <laughs> for which the villager up on, you know, will see. And, you know, knowing that I've faced hardship in my time will will come down to help me or at least calm down enough mm. to find a way to help me. Um, um, normally, call, this would yeah. just work automatically, right? Right. But That's because right. he's panicked and because we love uh, fun and tension and stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to make you roll either a persuasion or... Oh, persuade? Oh. Or... Do I get like an advantage on my persuasion because of my background? Uh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> sure. Perfect. It says so right here. Good, because my persuasion's a one, and I feel like I'm gonna need it. So that was a seven. That's no good. How's how's a seventeen hit you? Uh, he, this villager is about to crash into um. You know the linchpin, the most important. He's about to crash into Denton and knock him off of the top no, of the Denton! wall. No, and uh, but then he turns and sees you, and his eyes light up, and um, he scrambles down the ladder and runs towards you. And, he's like, "You need uh, some help with to, that." <laughs> tries to help you with. He's like, "You're so haunting." Um, I'm gonna run towards this monster and help him with a log. He's <laughs> like, "I know I got a lot that I'm dealing with right now, but." You look like you could use a hand. Hey, man. This is my papa now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I the commoner's dad? Uh, do you, I guess, roll a d20? I don't want, I don't <laughs> want to be his dad. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right. He's no longer panicking. And he is your son. And he's also inside of the kangaroo pouch. <laughs> uh, what's, his, what's his name? Did we say it was a he? I, I know we sometimes use... Um... I want to just collect all my commoners inside my kangaroo pouch. <laughs> Can we catch the commoner? Name? You don't oh. know his name. Oh, okay. Damn. You can ask him, but you don't know nah. right now. <laughs> okay. You give a shit. Commoner. All right. Um, Denton runs over to uh, he runs over to the the um, area where they're breaking through on the right side, and um, he busts out just a a big old uh, what do they call it now? He turns them dead. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, clerical um, bullshit. Yeah. And, uh, let's see. Or the paladin shit? I forget. Cleric. Um, I get him for Cleric. The I can't right? turn shit. Um, <laughs> Nika's crying because she can't. Oh, no. Oh, Nika, it's okay. <laughs> Anytime I wear uh, eyeliner on my waterline, my eyes oh, just man. leak. And plus, you're that so happy is, about your four-year anniversary. It's <laughs> <Yeah>. true. <laughs> 
Uh, so a bunch of the the zombies on skeletons do turn and start heading the other direction. They're so like... it, sta- it staves off this uh, this little um, hole forming thing. Nice, brother. But it hasn't stopped it completely. Oh, sure. Toby. Toby sees that his fire is just pushing back the zombos uh, the way that they do. Um, and so he also is going to... How bad off is that big-ass skeleton? In, your, um, like, in my summation. I've seen dead bodies. I've touched them before. I mean... <laughs> With a stick. He's, he's sticky-legged. And oh. and Jayla's hovering over him with a scary looking halberd. But other than that, like as far as like sturdiness and health, it looks he probably doesn't look too bad off. <laughs> okay. he's, about, he's about to get got though. Um I'm gonna uh yell out Hey Jayla, watch this <laughs> And uh, uh Toby does some weird intricate things with his fingers. And the skeleton disappears. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing and what's the range on it? Uh, the range is 60 feet. He's closer, yeah, it's right? It's 90 feet away. Oh, hell, beans. Okay. Get closer. This is established canon. I don't know if he moved since then. No, he didn't. Okay. He was 155 your, feet away. Dude, set his movement as your trigger, my dude. Oh, good point. Just let this happen. Let it happen. Um, no, I, I, lost my hat. I lost um, my hat and it somehow makes me look weird. Down there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, you need that to keep yourself all together. Uh, Toby is gonna try to do that and he's like, Oh, it's too far away. Damn, eh, anyways. Um, he's gonna move his flaming sphere, maintaining concentration. Um, even though the, the cleric showed uh, the zombies what's up, he's like, Hey, cleric, I'll show you some real power. It's called science or magic i don't really know it's tough to keep up with this bit in um he moves his his flaming sphere through the zombies and then he casts pyrotechnics which lets my uh my ball of fire explode out um whoa 10 feet within 10 feet so yes Hey, sorry, this is too hard to keep on. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they both have to make a deck saving throw. Because I assume we're, instead of making it like, oh, it's the zombie's turn, we'll just like, deal with the zombies starting their turn in my flaming sphere and my turn. Mm-hmm. So they have to make um, a saving throw or else take a handful of fire damage. On top of that, I'm exploding them to try to knock them down and daze them. Okay. All right, well, give me um, another Arcana roll. For you, anything. Because I've studied the book. Um, 16, my love. Okay. So you blow a a shitload of them apart, um, but more just keep flooding in. Oh, beans. We're going to have to take a... Wait. Is the big one still there? Why just happened? I got... I got really taken to task, and Michael's mad at me. I feel like we have to take the big one out. Or we're I, just gonna keep you guys have done skill challenges before, right? There's, there's. You could like say, "I pick up this big rock," and Michael checks a mark off, and then <laughs> all the zombies will die. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to enjoy myself. It's so and... true. That's true. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is so much worse. Oh my god. Now why? there's nipples. Why do you have that? Is this a sex thing? <laughs> oh, we're gonna, I think, I don't know if we can have this on Twitch. This might be too much. This is too too we, hot for Twitch. Are we not allowed? I don't, <laughs> I don't think you can show nipples. I don't can you think put you some can tape show man nipple. All right. Do you have electrical tape you can just put over them? <laughs> Oh my god. Or when it carries braziers. Uh, yeah, oh I think god. they had to, after a lot of girls were getting in trouble for, like, chesticles. They're knobs. Their cleavages. They're like, alright, dudes can't do it either. But, obviously, I don't know. It's tough. It's fair. Oh. Um, and then, yeah, Toby's gonna continue to hide. And that's the okay. turn. Um, nice. Uh, you notice that, um, where Toby had blasted his flame, uh-huh. um, the wall has now caught fire. No, uh, Michael, I wouldn't have done that. Heck. I'm a smart guy. 
Yeah. No. I wasn't ever like a lantern get knocked over, but this is way better. <laughs> no, I, I, I did the math. I did the math. No, I did it's the math. Definitely. Yeah, you, then you rolled a 16 like a punk. Oh, beans. Is this okay? No. <laughs> No, Michael. You're in so much Sherlock. trouble. I'm Sherlock Sherlock. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to get you. Don't you have, like, a little cape you can at least put over and cover oh, your... Oh, that would be very good. Yeah. A little cape. Just to cover your... Is that a chicken oh. costume? <laughs> What's this? There you go. Is this the Flash? No. I think that's part of the, like, Billy Dancer costume. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. That's perfect. Crop top, crop top. Sherlock Holmes uh, outfit. Perfect. Twitch.tv <laughs> slash Geekly Inc. Uh, yeah. This is an audio medium, so you don't know why we're laughing. And we truly um, can't describe it. Wow. Uh, join us next time uh, as we record live, and you can watch this shit show happen live. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um... Rowan, we're looking at you. Okay, so the, you're telling me that the wall's on fire right now. I'm telling you that now the wall's on fire. That seems, that's not good. I'm sorry. Um, guys, can you guys answer me a science question real quick before mm-hmm. I decide what I'm doing? <laughs> Wind is usually bad for fire, right? Yes. Yeah, so, no. <laughs> always, it's, oh, wait, actually. If it's a whole bunch of wind, you can blow it out. Because I'm thinking, you know, like a, like a birthday cake, you blow the candles and they go away, but I, I think it doesn't work that way. Fire loves air. Fire. I mean, I guess theoretically you could blow. What I'm wondering is, the, will a wind wall make things worse? If you I blow the fire to the zombies, that could help. Me help blow. I hope you make a, a fire tornado instead. Did I do that? I, I think fire loves air right I, up until it hates it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the more fire you have, the more air you can have. Uh, but. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I love to get wild. My so... dad's a fireman. You gotta call your dad. Can you call your dad? I'm gonna Remember catch my dad. You call your dad. Oh, yeah, that did happen on a podcast one time. Your dad called and you just answered it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. You um, text your dad and say, would a wind wall put out a yeah. fire and a <laughs> makeshift wall? I don't know if it likes. Wall. Okay, because it says the wind wall keeps fog, smoke, and other gases at bay. But that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, f- you know what? Fuck like it. Fire's okay. a gas, in my opinion. Let's, let's say what I want to do, what I'd like to do. Um, <laughs> is to push the wind wall so that it it pushes the flames towards the zombies. Perfect. If I can do okay. that. Well, um, luckily we can roll a d20, and then depending on how well you roll, either you'll just make the wall just burn to shit, or you'll <laughs> blow a bunch of zombies, or maybe you'll put the fire out. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know if this is like really a roll thing. It's just sorry, Tim. I keep I keep forgetting to talking to the uh, microphone. Um, I, I think it just I just do it. Like what do you? Um, well, I know. Yeah, I yeah but he that, he's but... adding a risk reward situation. Oh, I see. It's not bad. So what do you want me to? What do you want me to roll? Like what? What do, what do you? What's your spell casting? Um, uh, stat. My wisdom, right? Wisdom, yeah. So I have like a spell attack bonus. Should I like do that? Yeah, do that. Do your spell attack bonus. Rat. That's fucked up. I know you could do that. Cheater. I uh, was a cheater. If the DM says, "Oh, <laughs> well, I critted." So you rolled. You rolled a, a natural twenty. I rolled a natural twenty. Okay. Um. Well, the wall is just burst into flames. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was too good. Damn it. It's so good. My no, I think. Uh, I think with a natural twenty, you fucking not only like before you put the flames out, you just incinerate just a shitload of skeletons and zombies. <laughs> Rose starts like cackling, and she look. Is anyone like near her? Is Toby near her? You sure? Everyone can see you. Okay. But I wasn't like to talk to like there's like and Rowan yeah. like Rowan looks at Toby and she's like I did not think that was gonna work. <laughs> as soon as I felt the wind coming, I tried to tell you not to, but I was too busy controlling my fire. Well, it worked, didn't it? I don't know. She kind of like punches him in the arm. Ow! <laughs> Woo! <Nice. laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> I need my. I have to okay. take a Constitution saving throw because I got punched. <laughs> 
Oh, I got. I did really good. Rowan I got, is I really, got a nineteen. Rowan's very weak. It felt like a butterfly's wing on your arm. But she has a high dex, which yeah, means but... that she knows how to punch good. She attacked with finesse. Yeah. Um, okay. Jayla. Well, I was gonna do because um, I do radiant damage, so I was gonna do radiant damage to the big skeleton, but mm-hmm. that's basically which is what Rowan did. We can't repeat, can we? Or no, that that's, kind of... she didn't do radiant. You're fine. No, but she did like a spell, which that's what mine basically, right. so I guess it's like I you sat. Pretty, well, radiant pretty radiant. much everyone's cast a spell so far. Yeah, so. we, we're kind of doing an unconventional <laughs> yeah, once, uh, uh, a skill check. No repeats. Or it's, we, it's, repeats are allowed. Skill challenges last are time, weird and there's nothing, there's no such thing as conventional but like once you're, last, you get to like this strength being like I'm gonna friggin bail out the water. Yeah, like, cause that's like, what I was thinking of doing. Yeah. I'm like I do a cartwheel and throw some water on it. <laughs> it's like we're, we're gods. We can invent yeah. water. <laughs> last time we did a skill challenge, Tim cast a spell every single time and I gave up. <laughs> so. Okay. Browbeaten into letting well, us cast was. I just got excited because I just wanted to play my character some. So yeah, I just want to sack a spell and hit him three times. Fucking do it. Whoa. Okay. Do nice. you want me to do the damage and everything? Because I rolled it out as an attack and an actual attack roll. But since we're doing a skill challenge, I don't know well, if you no, want to do it. Is, it is. If this guy gets through the wall, I mean, he's got hit points and yeah. Shit. Okay. And oftentimes yeah. your attack roll is. What you're be rolling, unless it's a melee attack, which might be a little different. But whatever. this is That's what essentially mine, mine all be melee. Skill. Yeah, this is essentially half a skill challenge and half of a fight. And I'm having so. a great okay. time. I'm very I'm scared. It. I love. Cool. I, I think zombies and things like that are like one of the coolest enemies to fight because they're just like so basic that it's like you just fucking rip and roar. The zombie just heard you call it basic and he started crying. You're basic. <laughs> You're basic. He also took a sip of his PSL first, <laughs> pulled up his Uggs, and then <laughs> tromped right into town. Oh. Um, okay, so I got a 21. I didn't hit with my second one, and then I got a 20 to hit. Okay, that was both hit. Okay, total is 19 regular damage, and then uh, 33 radiant damage. Nice. And that's my turn. Nice. 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 That must have really Dude. hurt him, right, Michael? It probably it did. did. Shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it hurt him a lot. It hurt his feelings mostly. Oh. Yeah, he's really. That's sad. basically what I wanted. Oh. Did you say anything mean to him? Well, I guess. You yeah, said, you I said tell him that. Thing. I tell him that he has his body is in a shape. He's just lumps. Oh. Damn. Um, I think that you slice half of his head off. <gasps> wow. I love it. Can it crush some of the little zombies behind him? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Rains down bone and crap. You and brain matter. You. This is a giant skeleton. He's big. So he doesn't have a brain anymore. You. Sorry, sorry, skeleton. Um, and actually, it is now his turn. No. And... no. He's impeded. And um, he is impeded, and he's got a Jayla who is in melee range and can whap him if he moves again. So I think she has caught his attention. So he's going to turn and swing at her um, with a big skeleton fist. Don't forget he takes disadvantage. He's going (laughs) to swing at her with a big skeleton fist and has disadvantage. And that is going to be uh, 19. I think that hits. Fuck, it hits by one. Damn. Okay. Fuck me up, Michael. I rolled an 11 and a 17. Is it, what type of damage is it? Is it necrotic? It is a bludgeoning. Damn it. Isn't okay. it funny that the 11 is hitting her tonight? Isn't that funny? Wow. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that ironic? Huh, wow. What do you think? <laughs> Um, it's only, it's 18 damage. You just said 11. Yeah, that's, that's what I rolled to, to hit you. Um, oh, and 11 does not hit. Okay, but 18 damage. 18 damage, yeah. Um, and then he swings at you again. <laughs> and that time I rolled a 20. No! Michael, no, don't do it. No, I don't no. have disadvantage anymore. Michael. You don't. Oh, oh you don't. Uh... I don't like this. This is bullshit. Oh. <laughs> I roll on my. Uh, I use my 
Tomb of Annihilation. Look at that thing. Oversized D20. And it has the little insignia on the 20s. So <gasps> it's how... just got like evil like emanating off of it. That was too scary. It is good. Um, so that's going to be 28 damage. Another 28 or on 18 and then 28. Michael. Okay. That's perfect. <laughs> that was, that worked out really well. <laughs> that worked out me. well. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because you got me to a nice round number. Oh, okay. So what does it look like when a f- big skeleton punches a flying? I think he's uh, like he's like swatting at her like a fly, and then he just happens to actually get her. Yeah. And then maybe she bounces off the ground. I don't know. Frig. Yeah. And then she comes or flies like right back up, though. Or my nose starts bleeding. Your oh, nose bleeds a little okay. bit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, but he doesn't move because he's scared. And, oh, because um, of Jerry being a hero. Right. Hero Jerry. <laughs> Jay, he what does Hero and... Jerry do? He, he, he's just... <laughs> Jerry's just <laughs> attached to his leg, and he's just going to bite him. It's, it's pretty mm. much all Jerry does is grab onto people's legs and just start biting at their ankles. It's just, okay he's just... He's just gnawing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What animal is Jerry based off of? Um... The doll spider from Toy Story, if that's an animal. Oh, <laughs> yes. That is, that is good. Oh, but, man. but I meant in, in the Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I mean, I, I guess I can look at it. Uh, <laughs> a tarantula. Ooh. Yeah. It's an underdark dwelling tarantula. Man, my uh, brother looks classy with. Yeah. He does. He's great. I'm fabulous, bitch. Uh, so man, he's gonna do just an insane amount of damage well, does he if hit? this hits. Gotta roll it, Michael. Hit. Have you played this game? Uh, I no, I haven't. So, can you tell me if a nat 20 hits? Will it, will it do 20? Oh, a nat 20. Uh huh. Yeah. You want to see it? You want to see it? You might see my nips. His <laughs> <laughs> downstairs nipple. Oh no, nice. You, uh, you hit, and then you roll damage dice twice and add your modifier. God, twice? Ugh. Hey, roll your damage. Oh, well, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> he bites for 13. <gasps> That's and everybody's rolling... scared. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. You take a chunk out of his ankle. He doesn't like it. Um... Wow, he's and like a tiger if you think about it. He is. Uh, so, Steve, as you look towards the wall, because right. Steve's turn now, um, you notice that on the left side of the wall, you can start, you see uh, arms and bones and stuff scraggling underneath. And it oh. seems like and it seems like the zombies and skeletons are digging their way through <gasps> under the wall. They just won't stop. Michael, they're, they're nonstop. They won't like in like one specific up. spot. Yeah, on the left side. They found like a weak point on the left side. Okay. Oh, no. I am going to wheel over. I mean, would you say that there's like you know this is like kind of like farm far, a farm farming community inside these walls? Um, probably. Okay, That's so pretty much all there is, is farming community. Farmer, <laughs> if there's something anything I know about farming communities, they have oxen, they have crops. And they have wheelbarrows full of um, manure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I find the biggest one that I can physically move over to that spot. And mm-hmm. as they're pull- as they're digging out dirt, I want to replace it with manure. So okay. that they keep digging, but they're not getting anywhere. You see what I'm saying? Because you're just throwing <laughs> manure. Yeah, you're just throwing <laughs> shit in there. <laughs> and I bet the zombies think that's gross, too. So and They do. They do. Zombies really just, like, they can't stand germs. Yeah. Known <laughs> poop haters. Um, what kind of role do you think this would be? Um, well, there's no manure stat uh, or farming. What about, what about um, if you did... A, uh, a a deception chat or because it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Who's that's the good. Who's the dad? Who's the dad? That's good. Uh, I'm, I you already said in the chat that I'm an honorary dad. You, you are. <laughs> so can let I do, it be known. Can I do uh, nature? 
Yeah, this is a very York. natural process. <laughs> right. Poop's natural. Poop's natural. So 17. You, uh, that just succeeds. And, uh, you are keeping these zombies at bay, but you have to keep, you have to keep scooping. Okay. <laughs> I'm a, you know what? The poop shoveler. The poop smith. <laughs> You guys take care of that skeleton. I gotta shovel this poop. <laughs> it's equally important, friend. <laughs> when I said that we're gods and we just like make water fly out, gods sometimes take time to shovel poop on dead zombies. Oh, That's man. just I don't it's... have a I don't have a poop creating spell, so I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah. No, it's perfect. Um okay, so uh you notice that uh, that a zombie has managed to climb, scale a part of the way up the wall, and it grabs Denton's ankle no, Denton. and, no. and drags him over the side. He didn't ask for this. Oh, Denton! He's a you hear him. I don't want him to die. You hear him mutter something under his breath as he slips over the wall. Denton. What is it? You can't. It's too far away. No. So you don't know, Toby. Toby loves to play games with his friends. Um, Toby. What kind of games does Toby like to play with his friends? He likes to play maths. <laughs> he likes to Math play. Not a game. He likes to play sword drills, but with ancient texts. Oh, that's great. That's um, fun. He likes to play drawing, things like that. Okay. Uh, Toby's going to run um, to the area where Denton falls, and he goes, Denton, I think your name is no. And he casts <laughs> uh, Levitate. And uh, his flaming sphere disappears, and he's basically going to try to catch Denton and, and level Tate him all the way up to okay m back into Toby's open heaving bosom. Rousing. Okay, so you can cast Arcana, or if you want to use your spell modifier, you can do that. Michael, jokes on you. It's the same, and don't you sound <laughs> silly? <now. laughs> okay, twenty-seven, you old lunk. He goes like, is, I threw here. him too high. <laughs> whoa, oh gosh. He goes, Thanks for saving me. I can't believe I was saved by a child. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? I'm 40. I'm a man now. It's a man grown. I'm a man grown. And then I, um, I, I put him down next to me on the wall. I'm like, Wow. I sure did save you. Isn't that good? He he agrees. Thanks. I'm Toby. Okay. Well met, Toby. I I'm glad that you've come to uh to help us in our trying times. God, it took him long enough to get here. What? Why'd you? We got here as fast as we could. Didn't I can hear you? I just said. Thank you. Yeah, but you like said some other bullshit too. Just be nice. What are you once. talking about? Can you just help me with the skeletons? <laughs> I didn't. Oh, you. <laughs> okay, uh, Rowan, it is your turn. <laughs> um, so I'd like to cast um, Hunter's Mark on okay. the big, the big old zombie um, mm -hmm. until the spell ends. I deal an extra one d six damage. Um, and I have advantage on any wisdom, uh, perception, or survival check you make to find it. I mean, I think I know where it is, so I don't think that's relevant. Um, and if the target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to mark a new picture. So I do that. Um, I have a lot of things going on. I'm sorry. This is a lot of math for me right now. So I have a plus four because it's undead. Uh, <laughs> I did not do it very good just then. 19? That hits. Okay, cool. He's essentially a barn. <laughs> That's true. Um, and then I have a ranger thing where I get an extra um, 1d8 damage if it's below its hit point max, which I'm pretty sure it is. His head fell yes. off. Um, yeah. <laughs> Half of his head. Okay, cool. So uh, so I get to roll 2d8 
eight to D six and then plus four. Fuck. <laughs> Woo. Mama Mia, that's a spicy meatball. Yep. Fifteen? Fifteen? Fifteen damage? damage? Yeah. That is gonna be just enough to murder this giant zombie. Yes! Oh, no. Zombie skeleton. Yes! Wow! That was a regular arrow, just for the record. It wasn't even like a lightning one or anything. It just like gets him like right in the chest in his sternum, mm -hmm. and he shattered into a one a billion pieces. Whoa! That was a good arrow shoot. Just raining bone chips. Uh, and, um, after Rowan does that, she turns to Toby and does a finger gun. Huh? <laughs> Guns don't even exist in this world. Yeah, canonically. <laughs> a finger crossbow. Yeah. Um, ah! So I think I think you guys managed to mop up the rest of, of the zombies and um, skeletons and uh, throughout their, I mean, they keep coming and like a trickle and stuff, but it's mm -hmm. not enough. That you but they just keep co getting covered in arrows and poop. And arrows and poop. And um, and uh, you, are allowed, you are able to take a breather and um, the crisis is averted. Yes. Looks and... like we've solved this mystery. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tug's here. here. <laughs> um, the crisis is over, just like this episode. Michael, what? no, we just started one minute ago. Oh, we Literally didn't. Literally 30 seconds Damn. ago. Michael. Like wow, it's been an hour and eight minutes. Michael, yeah. it's been one minute. It hasn't, Timothy. It's Stop it. Happen. Michael, Why don't you... Tim, read some feedback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael, I've been having so much fun, but... As all your listeners keep telling us, the most best part of the podcast is when we read the feedback, and I'm just moving it and making it big. Uh, okay. Uh, since it's late, I'm not going to read it. I'm sorry. Um, Brad the Hinch from Canada says, Greetings from episode 135. Good day, mate. I started off as a hunt for something simple to keep me entertained, and the many hours I spend alone between my day job and living solo has turned into something much greater. Now, ever could I have known that I would soon be exposed to countless hilarious hours of banter, great storytelling, and characters. I had no idea I'd become so attached to. Thank you. Uh, CFox326 says, I listen to this podcast to keep me from murdering my co-workers. <laughs> I listen to a lot of podcasts while working, and this one is the one that got me through yearling prep season this year. Nothing makes dragging angry young racehorses around the field less monotonous than listening to the to a group of people murder all their way across a fictional world. I like the idea that they're saying they don't want to murder their co-workers and their co-workers are horses. Uh, <laughs> Durangbug says, that poor joke. Bachman's we all agree, so it happens joke mm -hmm. is so underappreciated. He says it all the time. Episode 85 is where I'm at. And it's just so underappreciated. But I love it in this podcast so much. Thank you, 777777777777. Uh, I think we like that joke, and I think we appreciate. Yeah, it. I think we. I think. I think, I think it's just because they're only on episode eighty-five. Yeah, right I now. think as time goes on, we do it. A they're lot gonna more. get real tired of it yeah. by the time they catch What's up to the review being joke read. We agree, so we do it. We agree, so we do it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Not so curious. George says, "End of an era." I started listening about two months ago, and I have finally caught up. It's bittersweet timing that I blasted through all these episodes. Just have to wait when Eludra retires she was no uh, oh thanks oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> she was never really my favorite but she <laughs> was the sane one scary thought of the group um, <laughs> the one people need to learn how to hey can you, can you guys work on your compliments yeah <laughs> you maybe not make them thank you for the five star review but in the future well, just the five star review gotta work on those just uh, say compliments <laughs> just say just don't say that i guess we could just not read it is the other option. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Boobin from the United States. I just didn't see it in time. I'm sorry. Usually I try to edit on the fly, but my bad. Uh, Boobin from the United States says, Wow, I actually had to pause on episode 235 because it's really tugging at my heartstrings. Been with y'all since the beginning, and I just had a review now. Okay, let me finish the episode. Bye. Uh, Bulikus from Australia says, excellent D&D podcast. I'm new to the podcast, started from episode one, and now I'm on episode 17. On par with Penny Arcades in terms of humor and entertainment value. 
I, Zothrus from United Kingdom, says, get ready for the costs. Obligatory 777 mean joke. Now that that's out of the way, I can say that this is a brilliant D&D real play podcast with fantastic characters to shout at in frustration and enjoy. After three years of several false starts, I finally caught up. Now to catch up with random encounters. Roostock says, I love this podcast. I honestly never listened to a podcast, but a friend insisted I start listening to this one. It has been one of the best choices ever. I binge listen until I fully caught up and always love when the next one drops. Not only is the show amazing, but the community they've built is fantastic. I encourage you to listen and get involved in whatever capacity you're able. Thanks. Roostock, good haircut. Good haircut. Yeah, it was very good. I liked it. Mr. Bone Monkey says, great show. I really need a spinoff show in which Jayla and Steve travel the land solving problems, defeating monsters. <laughs> uh, Michael Michael from the United States says, awesomely hilarious actual play. I'm one month deep into a marathon listen, currently at 120, which is something like 40% of the backlog as I'm writing this. Have abandoned all of a podcast until I catch up. 10 out of 5 stars. That's dedication. Dedication. DM Bray from Canada says, my best podcast on railroads has ever grazed my ear holes. Good day, mate. I've been listening all the way from episode one for this for the last couple of months, trying to catch up. It's been a hoot writing on Throffy's Railroad of magically murdered Bachman characters. I gave this podcast five lives flourishes out of seven stump grinders. Wow, perfect score. And I'm done. I'm done reading for right now. I've done it. I'm able to do it. Nice, nice job. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. We're at Geekly Inc. or at D and D Podcast. I'm at Thrifty Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Drunks and Dragons? We'll make sure to head over to geeklyinc.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts, the hottest nerd news, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished vanquishing those zombies, head on over to iTunes or Skeletons to <laughs> leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash dnd podcast where you can donate a monthly amount to help us make this podcast better with each episode. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we will be back next week. Until then, keep it dicey. Should we uh, uh, hit record on that bastard? <laughs> oh, you better fucking shut up. <laughs> Oh, um, you. Somebody in the we, chat earlier asked about my nail polish. It's Zoya brand, and the color is Gemma. G-E-M-M-A. Zoya's that good shit. 237, right? 237. I've got to put my glasses on. My eyeballs are dry. Um, how's everyone feeling? <laughs> I'm uh, tired. I'm feeling fine-ish. I'm a little sleepy, I'm, but I started off sleepy. Extremely sleepy. Extremely, I mean... I don't, I would love to cut it right here, but when can we do another one? It's um, so soon, soon. Um, Cause Nika, you're cause like out, like you can't do this week anymore. I cannot, yeah, I cannot do anything this week. I could technically do late on Thursday again. I can't do Thursday. Oh yeah, you guys do normal. Yeah, right? we have normal. Yeah, Ugh. it might get canceled, but I don't know. Um, Cancel it. <laughs> Next week I can do Monday. And then I can't do like, any other night next week because I do have, we have a conference. I could do I Monday know. next week. We can skip the thing we're going to do on Monday. We could do it like on Sunday or something. Yeah. What were we going to do on Monday? With were we going to do something on Monday? Nick. Oh, with Nick. But, we, yeah. but I feel like we could don't reschedule. Us. Yeah, we don't need to do that yet. That. Don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Nick's fine. I can do whatever the hell we want on Monday. Or I can do Monday. I can do Monday. Michael, can you do Monday? Can you? Yeah. I think I can do Monday. Can I do oh, next that Monday? Great. I'm not doing anything next Monday, right? Yeah, if we cut it now, I can I still get in like two hours of sleep before I have to feed the kid. <laughs> oh, golly, beans. I think I'm trying. Let me just look at my. I don't know. It's so hard to have a comes. schedule. It's terrible to be. Adults. I think Mondays. I think my Mondays are normally open. So yeah, I, I think it was just that I assumed my whole next week would be fucked up, Monday but I can actually six. do Monday. It's just the rest of the days I can't do. But Monday, I should be fine. We probably could even was, maybe knock out two next Monday. Yeah. Was Monday the 6th? Yes. Yeah. The... That, it was daylight savings. That's what it was. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. 
I refuse. Maybe we yeah. can do two. Maybe we can do two. All right, we'll see how we feel. And then um, we can yeah. get back on our normal schedule, and I won't have to update my calendar. Well, that would be, is, that's a, a minor thing. That's but. hopeful. Thank you. Yeah, me. I don't know, man. We're all fucked up. Especially with you yeah. moving to LA. That's well. Yeah. That should actually be good because. Then I wouldn't be so tired because I'd be fucking recorded earlier. Yeah. Well, but the only issue is then we would have to be yeah, recording well. at eight or nine every time so that you can be off work by five. I think that probably what I would do, honestly, is I'd be like, yo, twice a month, I have to leave work early on this day. Oh. That's part of the condition of me going. That's probably what I would do. So I could, like, I, we could figure it out because I could. Well, if I like, uh, if who I, cares? If I, if that's we, that's off camera. Months. We can. Be, um, I, yeah. I don't even know for sure that I'm going. I, we, we'll figure that out. So, um, Monday. 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 We'll shoot for one, but it'd be dope if we did two. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably. I mean, I'll. I'll be able to. I believe. Okay. But see what everyone else is feeling. Sounds good. All right, my lads, it was fun to do Halloween up with you all. I was really just thinking, I was like, man, I'm already feeling real weird right now. <laughs> Sitting yeah, in this I... chair with no, nothing on my back has made my back all sticky. I don't like it. Ooh. I feel um, like, we, yeah, I just feel like we start an episode at 11 o'clock. It would be terrible. Yeah, yeah or great. We're all are we still fucking... streaming? Oh, We're not yeah, streaming. We, no, we are. We are streaming. Oh, so I can't, I'm just going to let the, let the, <laughs> let, 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 let the girls free. Yeah. Um, Jennifer's not moving. I'm not to LA. moving. I, I might be going for work for a few months. Yeah. Um, to to help because a few of my colleagues are going on maternity leave yep. in our LA office, so I might I might go work there. So LA friends, let's hang out again. Yeah. Um. Great. All right, everybody. Good great, work. Great work, yeah. even. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone in the Twitch, for showing for up. Dealing um, with me being super late. Wario loves you. Waluigi. 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 <laughs> this person. That's Samus. <laughs> what? You don't know Samus? She's the most beautiful of I all know. of them. I, I actually kind of did, but more I, than Waluigi. I, I doubted myself for mm -hmm. a moment, and then I gave, mm -hmm. and then I didn't say it. No, Waluigi's the hottest. Waluigi is the hottest. Well, hopefully the Monday that we have will be a better day than the Monday today. Uh, and more of our government will be in jail. And oh my god! Then, yeah, um, so. we can <laughs> hey, have we some we uh, foretold political things in the past. Last... Yeah. So what did we, do? Well, we joked about Trump being president. And then oh, I did not. Real... And then it happened. Yeah. yeah. So maybe next time. So maybe we can joke maybe about. Maybe we say Trump's in jail. <laughs> he won't be in jail that fast, but. No, but but I just mean eventually. My understand. Someone yeah. was tweeting about Watergate, and they're like. It's Watergate took a, took a long yeah. time than what we remembered. So. I just, you know, Manafort, that's a good start. Let's do it. Chip him one at a time. Yep. One at a time, baby. All right. Knock him love up, you. Down. Like right. the zombies at the wall. Guys. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Happy love Halloween. Halloween. Don't get too stupid.